Hi and welcome to Type With Me. In this week's episode I want to talk about user input in Node.js ECMAScript module style. So first of all in Node.js ECMAScript modules are very important. It's something new that you can do or use, right? And what you need to do for that is just type here type equals and then you will see that you can choose between common JS which is the standard thing that you already know so you can use required then but that's the default or you can use module right then of course I'm going to use right here something cool and new right I want to use uh, an ECMAScript module to ask for user input. For that I need to install the following package. So I will install at cloud technology slash CLI prompt and this one is a package that has ECMAScript module support for user input. Right. So first of all I'm gonna use here an import. My import of prompt, right? And then we are going to use the following thing, and that's something that's really special. We are going to create a constant Q, and we do wait prompt name. You do need to know that this is an async await. Um, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a function that gives a promise, right? And that's important because then of course we need to await that and then I can do console.log q and we can do process.exit zero. One thing that's very important to know is on which node version you are. So we're going to type node version and you see here that I'm on version 14 and when I execute this you will see that I get an error right and that's normal because we are on version 14 so with NVM I'm going to use version 16 so when I now do node dash dash version you will see then I have version 16 and when I now execute it you'll see that I get my name back right so it's important to know on which version of node you are and what you can or cannot use there uh, so it's important that you use version 16 uh, it has support for this one right I think it's it's very useful and, and very powerful uh, also there you can very easily use await here in the index.js uh, um, right uh, directly um, I'm, I'm really happy about what they are doing now with the move from uh, the common JS style to ECMAScript modules Again, it's very important to look out which modules are supported for ECMAScript modules. There are techniques to really switch and, and, and use partially uh, ECMAScript modules and common JS kind of things and mix them together. But again, it's very hard, hard and it's properly or better to use um, one or another. If you just want to use something within uh, a common JS uh, setup, well, then you can use that with uh, .mgs, which is module uh, JS, eh, ECMAScript module JS. Uh, when it has that extension, you can do that as well. But again, I have some great videos around that. Check them out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. It's a very short video for now, but um, see you next time.